Alright, so I started with this side. I made those myself not because it was very expensive in the hardware store. There was some cool ones, such cool ones, and ones with chrome and stuff, but it was expensive. So now I went with uh, the rest of the door frame. They are all flat brackets, all the uh, all bottom and three, uh, both sides and three. One. On the other side, I use the same corner uh, bracket here, my patient bracket, uh, metal like I use here and everywhere, big ones, make it easier to wear to the panameter now because it's one millimeter too, so one to one. It's the same heat I need on my weather, and for those sides, uh, have to be harder to make the door more stable. So this way, the door is not 100% uh, stable. Moving a little bit here, maybe this is make what I can make such a. Uh, I can make the uh, rod inside thicker or something. But it opens the I still have to make a stopper here to don't go all the way inside. Stop it here. And you know, as you see here, it's the same, something like the same shape. I just still have to grind here. You know? And yeah. So now. I have to make a thing, a middle one or something. I don't want to make it such a heavy door. So, yeah, I have at least one door frame here now. I'm very proud owner of the door frame, the car door frame. <laughs> yeah, I'm very really like it. Very really like it. Here is how I'm making my door closing and opening system, the door grip. So, I wanted this square tube on the door frame a bit you know and I made a hole in it it's about 10 millimeter and I put this rod inside it and then I made this one it's a bit hot you know so I made the hole first I put this one I passed it it works I welded this one you know? and you know when it is this position the door won't open and when you lift it to the top like this so you can open the door and here I made this little hole and I have this box full of fuses of, of, fuses, <laughs> of springs so I'm gonna look for a hard enough spring here that I'm gonna mount between this hole and the upper side here and this will hold this will hold it approximately like this so once you open the door it will open like this and when you leave, when you let go, it turns back this position, must turn back this position, that's what I mean. Yeah. And here I'm gonna weld a threaded screw or something where I can mount my grip. So as I said in the beginning, here's the one door already made. It does actually have such problems like here and here, it's not the same. And sometimes you can just close it the way you want. So of course I'm gonna weld some stoppers here to stop it from going all the way inside. But yeah. <laughs> 